Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I thought maybe I'd do something that I haven't done in a while, and that is a Friday flip through. So I'm going to pick one of those journals and do a little chatty flip through. And I also have an idea for a new journal, so come on along. to wait a little while between when I finish journaling in a journal and I do a chatty flip through because it's like I make a video for every page anyway but some people like to just watch the flip through instead of watching the process of every single page and it's kind of nice to see it all together as a whole anyway but first let me show you some things I got at the Dollar Tree. Surprise, I went to the Dollar Tree, right? And, ooh, I have ideas for two new journals. <laughs> if I'm going to show you what's in the bag, okay. Well, the first thing, well, I bought this glue. This has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Okay. I bought some of this jock glue because Mr. Possum is using this in his shipbuilding endeavor, building a submarine in the basement. And he said it works really good. And I thought I would try this with a little water and a paintbrush to do some uh, gluing down of magazines and things and pieces in my mini trashy journals. And I saw this and I thought this was interesting. This was in the Halloween department and I've looked at a few of these it's where you can decorate the cupcakes and things and I was wondering how I could use these and I said well you know they're only made out of paper right I'll put it down here so you can see it they're made out of paper and you wrap them around like the cupcake like for a fun Halloween party but because they're just paper you know, I can cut them apart. I can make um, an edge on a page, you know, like that. I figured there's a lot of things you can do with these in a journal. So I might look for a few different ones. I have my um, Harry Potter Halloween journal. I can use those in. And that'll be coming up soon. And I also have, oh, I saw people hauling these. <laughs> Aren't those sweet? I love the little avocado and strawberry at the bottom. And these are magnetic. And I was wondering, you know, I bought the, the metal frame, the magnetic frame that you put magnets on. And I put one at the end of my journal, my nature journal. And I still have some of that metal left. And I'm thinking, well, I could play with another page in a different journal with these magnets and that metal and maybe put little portraits in them or something. But I'll come up with an idea for those because I thought those were really fun. Let me just put them over there. And I know. Eat material. Why did I buy material? I don't know. Because when I go into the Dollar Tree, I spend $10. <laughs> And Mr. Possum thinks I'm extravagant. You go into the Dollar Tree and you spend $10. Well, even $10 doesn't get you what it used to at the Dollar Tree. But I thought this would be really fun. And I want to, um, I was thinking about lining my little uh, mini junk journals with this or something. My mini trashies. <laughs> Look at that. It's so painty or a mixed media journal something like that so this is just you know it's a dollar i like to buy fun for a dollar i don't smoke i don't drink i don't buy new shoes every week <laughs> I could do something right okay so <laughs> i have two ideas like oh oh oh, oh wait 
I'm rushing myself. I'm rushing myself. And I bought this one, and you'll see why in a moment. I guess I should open these, right? I do this all the time. So these are craft, Crafter Square. So, you know, the fat quarters, some of the fat quarters, well, they used to be, I don't know what they are now, at Walmart, were only 97 cents. But now these are $1.25, so it's actually cheaper to get these at Walmart now. But, you know, gnomes and mushrooms and sunflowers. I love it. I love those colors, the blue and the orange. And the little sunflowers he has in his hair. And this can either be a journal cover or a fabric flip or I was thinking about I'm into this shape well you'll see in a minute into shape journal and I'm thinking a mushroom shape or a gnome shape on a journal wouldn't that be cute anyway we'll see I just picked it up because you know if you don't get it when you see it it's gone and it usually doesn't come back so I got these two fun fabrics to play with in journals. I got these magnets to do a special magnet page in a journal. And I got these to play with in my Harry Potter journal for Halloween. And now the last two items are very special. Okay. Um, well, let me show you this one first and then I'll go to the other one. Okay. I walked in and I saw these and I think they're supposed to be decorated like haunted houses for Halloween, right? Well, do you remember the one I made with my Dollar Tree gingerbread house? So this is a gingerbread house from the Dollar Tree and I decorated it all up with faux candy and sparkly snow and fake gumdrops and I can link this below get little gingerbread boy there peeking in the door and this was the uh, last year's December daily so yeah that's a December daily 19 has got the page um, the day numbers on there up to Christmas with mom. So the back is just cardboard. Or is there wood in there? Yeah, the back is just a thick piece of cardboard. But the front is this heavy gingerbread, wood gingerbread house. Okay, so that is on my mind when I saw these. So on this one, I did cut the overhang of snow and put a spine and put a piece of cardboard that shaped like the front on the back. This one, I'm thinking, how can I do something similar? I might back this with a strong piece of cardboard, maybe up to the tower and let the tower peek out. Widow's Watch up here, whatever they call it. Crow's Nest, Widow's Watch. And so make a rectangle like that and then put um, the spine like that. But I'm going to back each one of these with, I have an idea, um, something so that when you look at the window, you'll see things poking out of the window and then I'll put a cardboard on the back. So I have an idea for curtains and scary things peeking through the windows and I'll paint it and decorate it and then put the same on the back and make a fun journal out of this. So the journal itself will probably be, um, excuse inches here, mm -hmm. 10, that's pretty big. If I cut the overhang, I can make it, well, all right, so if it's 10 by 
seven, ten by seven, seven by ten pages, something like that. I think that'll be fun. And it'll give me a big project to do, right, for October. Unless I do some kind of Halloween daily in October, like I made my Christmas one for last December. Okay, now the last thing here is <laughs> Dragon Eyes. And this is not to go on a journal because I bought something else, but I have to go find it. Stand by. Okay, I bought these clear glass cabochons. And what you do is you, um, you trace the shape. I didn't want to get round. For some reason, you know, they always want to make the eyes round. But I like this shape much better. And then so you trace it and you paint, paint this. So I'm going to use this as my model on paper and then you can glue it to the back of that. And then I'm going to make a dragon journal. Yes, I am. I saw somebody do this with the eye. It's going to be one big eye and then you kind of form around it some wrinkles and some scales and um, distress it. And, oh, they did a wonderful job. So it kind of looked like leathery, scaly with a big eye. <laughs> Those little spikes coming out. Um, yeah, so this will be quite the project too. So this is going to be a big project and I got to start with the eye and then build a journal cover around it. I have no idea what I'll use it for. But maybe this can be, um, well, I don't know. See, now I got this. Now I got two things. So when I finish the Harry Potter, this will definitely be like an October journal. So maybe this can just be like a general Cosmic Smash journal. All right. So this will be a general Cosmic Smash journal. So that'll be fun. Okay, so. There are my ideas for new journals. And so now I'm going to go over to the other camera and just do a flip through of my trashy. Okay, this is my trashy that is trash, but also a journal. And it is made from a brown paper bag that has stitching around it and pizza boxes. These are frozen pizza boxes, a macaroni, um, tomato sauce label, another tomato sauce label, another tomato sauce label. And this is my Aunt Fanny, my Aunt Fanny Hortense. And she was doing an advertisement for this company, Lupini, about pasta. Navy wife. I know she has blonde hair, but she's Italian. She's Italian. So on the inside, oh, and this journal is a um, travel style with the elastics. And these are just the cheap Dollar Tree elastics. And I punched holes here at the top and bottom and put uh, eyelets and just wrap the elastic around. On the first page, we have a tea box, Celestial Seasonings, and these die cuts were punched out from different kinds of packaging, but they do have a little bit of bling in the middle. And the pocket is made from mug root beer. Mr. Possum loves his mug root beer. I love this with the flowers and the honey and the bees, so that's why I put more flowers up there. And this is a, I think this came from a muffin box or something. The hole was already cut out. And this is a picture of me working at Bridgeport Hospital when I was a unit clerk about 1971. I know, look at the phone, right? And these are more 
die cuts cut out of packaging, leaves and flowers with some bling. On the back, it's just more of this mug root beer. So this is just like memory keeping here. Me, when I was very young. And this one is a picture of me when I was even a little bit younger than that photo. That's me with the skinny arms and legs. And this is a sweet potato chips. I think these are sweet potato chips. So I put the word sweet there. Sweet little possum patty. And I die cut some flowers and put some bling. And I backed it with some orange. And more bling up here. More die cuts. I don't know what that is. Just garbage. Okay, so sweet potato chip box and some memory keeping. This was a, I think from a magazine, beautiful fall, black eyed Susans and ferns and red leaves. And I cut out the hole here. And this is a picture of me. Looks like I'm at Hawk Mountain or someplace in Pennsylvania. More memory keeping. I didn't do any writing on that page though. This was on... Um, uh, the package I bought of these stencils. So it was a pillow that somebody had stenciled on. So I have this stencil here. I don't I think I have that one. I have th this one. And these look different than the ones that were in the package, to tell you the truth. But this one was in there. And that is a belly band. And the background is a um, junk mail envelope and some stenciling done with the stencils that this that came in this package. And this is sewed on. There's also a staple there for some reason. Oh, I, that's for the next page, okay. Yeah, so I love this stencil and I made it kind of boho with all the different colors to match the, the packaging that it came in there. And in the belly band, I made a journaling card out of these um, some more cookies, gluten-free cookies, and I cut it with a shape across the bottom so it's not just straight across. <laughs> and here's another picture of me. This, this journal is all about Possum Patty, I guess. This is an old picture of me when I was a teacher. I like those glasses. That's an old teacher. I think Oh, where was I teaching when I had this picture taken? I don't know. When they did the students' pictures, they did the teachers, too. So I couldn't even tell you what year that was. But it was a while ago. I haven't taught like that for a while. And here we have the Cabot Butter. And the uh, blue check is across the bottom is off of more packaging. I like the farm look there. And these die cuts, leaves, and acorns are all from you know, packaging, and the background, um, this black paper, I think, came on the back of these uh, stencils. Yeah, it came on the back of these stencils. So that was packaging, too. And here's a picture of Possum Patty, just when her house was being built in Pennsylvania. But I already had a garden, and look at all those gourds, and yes, I know how to drive a tractor. Possum of many talents. And the back was a garden barn a postcard. That's a nursery. Um, well, it's not too close, about an hour away. And I put these peaches here. because They look pretty yummy. I thought they went with the farm theme. And I stood up and I can see that my battery needs to be replaced. I'll be right back. Okay, here's some more of that black paper. And this was on September 20th, 21, and it was the full harvest moon, and I wrote on there with probably Uniball, and I drew the harvest moon there. And sticking to this whole farm theme here, I have a packaging from the applesauce and a packaging from potatoes backed on a paper bag. And this is the... Um, bag from peaches that I bought last year I guess and I guess the picture on the other side is September 1997 breezy corner flower farm Pennsylvania first harvest isn't that fun I grew all those pumpkins and gourds and swan necks and flowers 
lots of fun there. Lots of fun gourds in the bucket. I got white pumpkins back here. I didn't grow the white pumpkins this year, but maybe next year we'll see how my pumpkin patch does this year. So it's a little tag, and this pull is the same packaging from the Cabot Butter. Oh, I know I have a staple there because this, this will not stick down for some reason. It's just not sticking to this black paper. Okay, now it's sticking. Let's put a little, put a little beacon glue on there. Give it a little incentive to stay down. Okay, hold that down. Okay, this is a really fun, fun page. We went to the Big E, which is the New England States Exposition. And these are all flyers and things from, from the different state houses. So it's Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut all have one big giant uh, state exhibition or state fair. So we got Rhode Island, Connecticut, we got New Hampshire, we got Maine, we got Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, greetings from Connecticut, we got Godzilla on there. And here I am at the Big E and I was eating a stuffed baked potato and Mr. Possum was taking funny pictures of me. Oh, it was pulled pork over baked potato. Yum. That was very good. And this was a breakfast page. Um, eggs. This is all cut out of packaging and scrap paper. But I have some feathers and a googly eye and I have some rickrack and a pork sausage package there. And you pull this out, this is Yogi Tea Tab. And this is me back in around 1955, no, 1956 or 57. Oh, it's probably 1957, somewhere around there. Eating breakfast, my bowl of cereal. Look at the old fashioned bottle of milk there. And because it's a breakfast theme, these are my chickens and duck that I had in Connecticut, I think. Not Pennsylvania. I think this was in Connecticut. My Connecticut chickens and duck. My Connecticut chickens and duck. And there's a little possum patty peeking through the window of the pork sausage. Mr. Possum's coffee. This one is sewn down. And the donut is a pocket. And these are stamps and some more rickrack. Well, this is uh, material back there. That's what this is. This is fabric, um, die cut fabric, the bird, and put it back there. And I made a little pocket. And there's my yogi tea, some more of that fabric. And this is a tag made from. Pancake mix, gluten-free, King Arthur. And there's uh, some eggs from a package and some more of my chickens. I miss having my chickens, but we have so many predators. It's so sad when the predators get your chickens and you just can't keep them out. I don't know. And this is from, I think, a main brochure. And it's got the identifying the leaves here moose and then down here in the corner it's hard to see it's a picture of me probably around 1971 the ice pond ice house pond I was in Trumbull ice house pond and blending in with the trees there is another picture of me around the same time 1972 it says okay 1972 this pine tree was in my mother's backyard in Trumbull but all this is, I think, from a magazine. And here is a Halloween page. And this was from a brochure from Salem, Massachusetts. Here's the witch. What's her name? Sabrina? Samantha. Samantha? Happy Halloween. Boo. I got a little bottle here. Oh, these are Dollar Tree stickers. I got some Dollar Tree bling. And I put this picture there. I'm very serious looking. 
because it looks like there's a ghost down there. Look at that. There's a ghost right there. I got little ghosts and bats peeking out. Bewitched. What was her name? Was it Samantha in Bewitched? Okay, Memories in the Eve. Every box. This is from the Drake's Cakes that Mr. Possum likes. This is old wallpaper. All these flowers are die cut from old wallpaper and packaging. Fine smiles inside. This was um, a folder my sister got when she had some uh, photos developed. And this is a picture of me on my... 40th birthday, I think, when my stepdaughter and my sister having a big chuckle. And there's a pocket here. Do you carry anything in like a 36 long? I put that because, you know, turning 40 there. And on this side, I thought this was really funny. Okay. Um, here's my Aunt Fanny who's on the cover, right? And this is the 36 long bra. And she was a jokester. Everything with her was just jokes and funny. She'd just crack you up all the time. And she signed this Hi, Honey Bunny. This is from a card she gave me. Actually, yeah, she probably gave me this card. This card is probably from her. That's why I put all this there. And uh, this is my son when he's about, I don't know, 18 months or something. And I had the laundry in the basket in the bedroom. And he was trying to put the bra on. This is so funny. Looks like he just came out of the... Uh, bathtub his hair's all wet fun memories fun memories that goes there in the pocket and here he is a little older when he broke his arm munching on his potato chips and this is sewn on a uh, packaging from Orville uh, Redenbacher popcorn and here he is smiling boy I like that haircut, bowl haircut, right? Here's the popcorn up here. And I have the bag of Lay's potato chips and Rick Rock and Bling and Kentucky Fried Chicken with lots of Bling on it. So this is kind of like junk food, fast food. Popcorn, potato chips, fried chicken. And this is a box of Ritz crackers. Putting on the Ritz, putting on the Ritz, it says right down there, putting on the Ritz. That means getting all dressed up. I got black bling on black paper there. And then if you pull out the tabs, there's two that go along with the theme of putting on the Ritz, I think. This is my mom and my sister at a Halloween party, and I got bling on there. And there's my mom. Back in the day, she still has a good figure, 93. There I am with my Halloween costume. Crackers. <laughs> I like it. Just having fun. These Halloween costumes. Putting on the Ritz. There's some pictures of some Ritz crackers back there. Putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. And this is when I started getting into making these funny art dolls with Dolores J. Rush. And this one was Deluxe Gold Pineapple Slices. I got black arms and legs. I put some uh, ribbon here. Sugar. Um, packages in the background. And that's my face, but you distort it with an app called uh, LOL Photo Booth or something like that. I kind of Googled up the eyes a little bit there, though and put um, stickles and eyelashes and then some hair and then I put this big thing up here <laughs> like part of a flower I guess and naturally extra sweet and gave her a diamond ring put some of the ribbon there that's an art doll it's just fun but um, I'll add it on different lips a lot of times you can just take pictures from magazines and you, you know Take the face and cut out different eyes and put it on. Cut out different nose. Cut out different lips, whatever. But uh, I learned this from Dolores of how to distort your own face and use it for the art dolls. I thought that was extra fun. And this is from Potato Bag. And this is a fabric potato that I made and hand-stitched around and put some X's there. And it's back with something Yeah, 
had just a piece of paper on the back of it. And here's Mr. Possum peeling potatoes. And then it says, I heart. And I went over this with my secure glazed pen potatoes because I had a little potato in the shape of a heart. Look at that. A little potato in the shape of a heart. I love it. So that's my fun potato pocket. And this is the packaging, you know, that the potatoes come in. So this is real journaling and art journaling and junk journaling all together. This is from a magazine. And this is from a pineapple. And this is Mr. Possum sleeping. And this is back in Pennsylvania on the farm. And this is around Thanksgiving because my nieces were visiting. And this is my little niece's Barney. And so there was a dinosaur here on this. So I put that there because of Barney's a dinosaur. I know. Great, great. That's okay. Bath and Body Works. And this is my son with Santa many years ago. And these are just cut out from Bath and Body Works advertisements. Fun Christmas page. And this is a Prolia flyer, right? And you open it up. And this is from an old calendar. And this is a flashcard. I think it's Greek on the other side. And some stickers I had, and a picture of a camper. And in the pocket is some more of those, some more of those, some mores. And it's an envelope. And you open it up. And this is a picture of me and an ex camping. And somewhere in the Carolinas around 1973 or 1974. Campground. I think it was a state campground in the Carolinas. And look, 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 look. See? Possum Patty in braids. 1974. Yes, I had braids in 1974. So kind of back to the old style, right? I think this little black packaging came with my support stockings so that's a camping page a memory page and this is from a book a Stephen Kellogg book I believe about going down to the farm this came from some chicken I got it at the supermarket there's some chickens and there's the farmer and there's a picture of my son in the hen house This was in uh, Cheshire, Connecticut, and it's from the Drake's Cakes package. And this was from a coloring book. I colored this old Volkswagen bus. And this is Gail and Chris from high school. Two of my friends from high school. I put their pictures in the window of the bus. It was a lot of fun coloring this in. All the detail on that. That was a fun page. And sticking with the hippie theme, I put Woodstock here. Pictures from Woodstock. Um, this is, I think this is from um, AARP magazine or something like that. There's a Woodstock. And then I did that because there's a picture of me with long hair and a guitar. I don't play the guitar. I never played the guitar. That was my father's guitar. He gave it to me to give to my sister, but before I gave it to her, I took a picture of me with it. And here we have a taco seasoning page. This is from a magazine. Die cuts from packaging. They come out really nice. I love using packaging to die cut. And here's a tag I sewed around. Kind of like a southwestern stitch. And a picture of tacos. January 18th, 2022, Taco Tuesday after Keys to Fun. That's my keyboard lessons. Taco Tuesday. And here's an old calendar I circled for February 14th. And more advertisements from Bath and Body Works. And this is me and Mr. Possum because we got married on the 14th. And this is a junk mail envelope. 
that I decorated all up with uh, scribble and cut out hearts from packaging and in the window I think this is the day we got married yeah that is oh and um, these are from packaging he calls me Lucy so this is from Thomas's English muffins and this is from uh, Lucy cookies gluten-free cookies I do have a braid one braid that day so this was 1997 and they had one braid and this I think this is a dish advertisement because they have these red windows and so you can make a magic window so you see the um, the tree there okay and then when you pull it out it has hearts on it the hearts disappear when you put it back in so this is my magic window. So if you get advertisement with a colored window in it, you can have a lot of fun doing the magic window. You just have to get your color to disappear. It's got to match that. This side, just some fun collaging here with English muffins and hearts. But the main point of this is that the hearts disappear when you put it in there like that. Love, gingham love. So it's all gingham hearts and stuff. And this is a little Christmas page here. And this was a candy package. And I got my son in there. Old picture decorated for Christmas. He's got the wreath on his head and the garland all wrapped around. Die cutting from packaging. This is from a magazine. Oh, this is from packaging from um, Hobby Lobby, things I bought, put on the little Christmas tree. I used the cotton from inside the pill bottles to make the snow. And this is a beautiful picture of my grandma. She's the looker, right? Look at that. Stunning picture of my grandma. And it's time to kiss my blues away. This was from... Kiss My Blues Away is from a music sheet. And I put this um, gentleman here. He's from like an 1895 Peters magazine. This is old wallpaper there. And this was junk mail, actually. It's time to something, you know, like change your oil, whatever it was. Beautiful picture, Grandma. So I have some really... Wonderful memories in here. So, I mean, I made it with trash, but this is serious. <laughs> Nothing I do is serious, right? This is serious journaling. Okay, I got pictures of gnome houses there. And I die cut these birds from packaging. Fairy garden. This all came from a flyer from the Hobby Lobby. Saw my first robin on February 8th down by the post office. And there's a little gnome house with a little dragon in there. Not cute. So we got some journaling about the first robin. Krusty's gluten-free cinnamon muffins. And I made them. This is a picture of the muffins I made. Sunday muffins on March 13th. And this is kind of my St. Patrick's. There's a grumpy cat. And it's kind of collage. I got sunflowers in the background. I cut out this teapot. I die cut this rabbit from packaging. I put a Dollar Tree foam thing there. And this is more packaging. This is cut from magazines. Cut from magazine. Got little Grogu down there because it's all green. Put some bees up here on this yellow and orange and some flower ribbon. And this is a repro. St. Patrick's Day vintage. It's vintage, but it's a reproduction. I got it at the flea market. And on this side, I have a picture of myself and my little sister on St. Patrick's Day with our little green hats on. One braid that day. Foam stickers from the Dollar Tree. A little bit of ribbon there. Lots of fun. St. Patrick's Day. And we're almost to the end here. This is another macaroni page. I got sauce labels. And spaghetti box with a little window in it. 
and this is from macaroni packaging and there's my little auntie again advertising her lupini pasta that was a gig she did and on the back I just put the basil and um, this came off a package of Barilla I think this was on a macaroni package they were advertising their sauce and her little face in the window there love that and here is a belly band there's a picture I don't remember where that picture is from it's like I cut it out of something big thing of glue right there birthday cake um, half rounds oh this is a Kleenex box daisy tissues and these cookies are called birthday cake cookies birthday cake sandwich cookies and cream with edible glitter so there's glitter in the cream inside the cookie and on the back is a piece of chocolate cake <laughs> With some trees in the background and birds and butterflies. So I must have done this for my birthday. And let's see what's in the pocket. Oh, it doesn't have a pocket. It's just cut. Oh, it's cut like this because it's the Kleenex box. Not because it's a pocket. Okay, and this is when I got my new organizer. This is what it looked like before. And then I have some drawers. Of course, they're all full already. I have my um, embroidery thread, my slow stitch material. I have my junk journal stuff there, and I have some cardboard and Tyvek and things in the bottom. Hello, spring. Hello, spring. Oh, this, this is fun. This is another tissue box. It looks like a wood. So I made this little gate, like a garden gate, and it opens up. And I have all these die cuts of flowers and ferns and a mushroom. All coming from packaging and scraps and different things. I put a little bunny there. And I think this is clean off paper here. Probably from jelly printing or something. But that goes there. And this is Hello Spring. This is probably another Bath and Body or some kind of flyer advertisement there. I really layered up that flower. It seems loose though. Okay, when you go through your journals, sometimes you got to do a little bit of repair work. Okay, let that dry for a while. I'm going to go back and check it. And here's the end. So now we're into Easter. Well, we went from Halloween. <laughs> we went from fall right farming fall big e fall colors to halloween and then we got into christmas a little bit and then we got into spring still christmas there spring with the robin saint patrick's day birthday which is in february hello spring and now we're up to easter so this journal covers a lot of ground this is my son with his little bun bun. And this is, somebody gave me this, I believe, packaging. Packaging from something. I think I bought it at Target or something. And I've got a foam there. This is old wallpaper. And this is made from an envelope. And packaging. And a Dollar Tree foam bunny. Nice and sparkly. And we have, again, mug root beer. And behind that is, May Easter Bunnies Dance for You and Make You Happy All Year Through. This egg, I got it to Target. Clearance after Easter. And this is um, reproduction of a vintage Easter card. And again, this is from a magazine. And this is a pre-night or pre stone that I found in the road. And it's like green sparkly. And here's a close-up picture of it. It says the Dreaming Stone. And so I thought it was appropriate to put it on this advertisement for sheets. Came in the mail. And I got little bunnies down here. 
because the bunny's over here. And that is it. So thank you for listening to my new journal ideas and listening to all my stories about the junk journal that I made. It's a trashy, but it's a journal. So I, I'll wait a little while and then I'll do another flip through of another journal that I have finished up. But just for today, thanks for coming along and happy junk journaling, happy trashy journaling. Bye bye. Y'all come back sometime, you hear? Y'all come back.